happy new month i don't know where you're finding yourself this morning but i believe that we can start this day in the joy of the lord because above everything else that has happened god has given us yet another month he's given us another week you are here not by mistake as we keep on saying it is not by accident that we found ourselves in this generation that we found ourselves in this year of the lord this 2024 it is not by accident that you are here child of god it is not you may feel like things are just happening you don't even know where your life is headed to but the lord is saying it is not by an oops that you're here there is something that he has for you there is somewhere that he's taking you So it is not by accident. So let's just begin with understanding that we are not here by accident. It is by divine design that you are here, child of God. Regardless of what's happening in your life, whether you are in the valley season, whether you are on the mountaintop season, you are not here by accident. And a lot of times when we're going through wildernesses is when we think, hey God, are you sure? Are you sure you got the right candidate to be here? on this planet at this time and god is saying yes you are the right one and even in those situations that seem so difficult he is going to orchestrate everything to work together for your good in the name of jesus christ amen and amen now as i was asking the lord what he has for us this morning there's a word that he placed in my heart and i don't know if you are feeling so tired and so you know i'm so stretched out because things are not seeming like they are coming together quickly (laughs) you know as believers um we 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 really sometimes get to put a lot of pressure on god he's promised us something and we're just there 24 7 Eh, eh, has it figured it's like uh putting something in the microwave and you're just standing there waiting for it to be warmed quickly quickly and the lord was just telling me you know what barbara tell my people that do not despise the days of small beginnings do not despise the days where it seems like things are just underground where it seems like things are just you know they're just not being visible they're not being seen and he took me to the book of um this is zechariah chapter 4 verse 10 and it says who dares despise the day of small beginnings Since the seven eyes of the Lord that rage throughout the earth rejoice when they see the chosen capstone. And there's another version that says that the Lord rejoices as he sees his people just putting it together. These small things as you're putting brick by brick, as you're putting things together, it gives God joy. And the context of this is that the children of Israel had just arrived back to Jerusalem and they were trying to rebuild at this time. And you know, it seemed so difficult for them. They were from captivity from Babylon and now they're trying to put back together their lives. And I can imagine that must have been very difficult to build a whole city once again, to build a whole, you know, a whole town, to build a whole um, region again. That must have been very, very difficult. And so as the years went by, as um, Zerubbabel, um, as the governor, had been given this desire by the Lord, and also Zechariah the prophet, had been given this desire to rebuild, the children of Israel were getting a bit tired. And I can imagine, honestly, I can see myself in them. Because putting things back together, especially if you had already gotten used to something, something that was already fully built, fully established, I can imagine how difficult it was for them to begin to rebuild their lives. And so, child of God, maybe this is where you're finding yourself as we're getting into this new month. You're thinking, Lord, you've brought me into a new space maybe the lord has called you into a new territory in your life he has told you know what we are beginning here we need to restructure here we are we are you know taking new territories in this season and maybe you felt so discouraged you've wondered lord really i had already built this i'd already done this and now we are here again yet again to begin And the Lord is speaking to you today, child of God. 
and he's telling you do not despise these days of small beginnings i love to see as we are operating together putting brick by brick together as we're putting the mortar together there is something that he is doing within you and the lord says he enjoys to see us just building together with him so even as we're getting into this new month of October, as we're getting closer to the end of this year, do not despise the small things or the things rather that you'd consider small, but in the eyes of God, they are such, you know, important parts of what he has for you. Because there's some things we'll consider, this is just something small and God is saying, no, this is actually the biggest part of your journey. And so child of God this morning, be encouraged. It may look like you've made small steps towards something. But know that according to God, as he is looking at you, he is enjoying, you know, seeing you putting things together with him. He is enjoying just seeing you, you know, work together with him, partner with him. And that is what the Lord is calling us into. As we are putting these small things together, as we are putting these bricks together, he is asking us to do it together with him. As we are getting into this new month, the different things that God is calling us into, put them together bit by bit. And as we've kept on saying, don't do this by your own strength. If we do it by our own strength, honestly speaking, it will not work. It will not work and we will lose so much power and strength. Because we'll try to figure it out. We'll, we'll see, you know, this, 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 this um, uh, maybe brick looks so small. And the Lord is like, no, that is the brick that is needed to be put on that car space. Please put that brick there. But for us with our own understanding, maybe we'd look at some of these things and say, I really, Lord, it doesn't add up. And maybe we go take a big kirok and we're trying to fix it in a place where it's not supposed to be. And so as we are ending this year, I keep saying we are going to end strong. All of us are going to end this year strong. We need to claim it. We need to believe it. So even if it is putting the small things together, maybe it is things that God has called you to do for such a long time, or it is a new space that the Lord has called you into. You are going to finish strong in that space that God has called you into. And I pray for us this morning that the Lord is going to give us an understanding of that which he is doing in us and through us it may look small child of god it may look very mundane but there is something and let me tell you of an example of a story that looks very small or looks mundane let me ask you how could david kill goliath with a small rock a small stone it may look mundane child of god it may look mundane that the Lord has told you go to the streams and get those five pieces, those five rocks rather. And it may look very, very strange and we may not understand it. But let me tell you that which the Lord is asking of you has the ability to bring down giants. Ah, So I don't know where you're finding yourself this morning. I don't know where you find yourself. Maybe you are at that place where the Lord has told you, just pick up this, uh, this rocks. Just walk in this way. Just do this and that. And it looks very, very small. This new month, just say, you know what, Lord, I'm just going to obey. I'm just going to walk with you and expect for that which you have for me. Because God has good plans for you. He has good, good, good plans for all of us. And so it may look very mundane. It may look very small. Maybe you've started your business and it looks as though, hey, is anything really happening here? You've positioned yourself correctly. You have done the groundwork you needed to do, but it just looks like something is just not working. But the Lord is saying that, you know what? Just keep doing those small things that seem mundane. There is coming, there's a time that's coming rather that is going to be so amazing for you that you're going to look back and say, I thank the Lord that I just walked in obedience, that I went and collected those five stones that, you know, I, I fought for, for, for my lamp. Like David, again, he fought for his sheep. It looked like a very simple thing. Okay, well, fighting a lion is not simple or a bear, but, you know, it looked like a very simple thing that he was doing. 
like protecting his sheep but through that there was a training there was something that god was doing in that and so child of god do not despise the day of small beginnings do not despise these days do not despise it and don't let others also despise you in this sense whatever someone has to say about it that is their own story but as for you and your house choose to say that even as we are building because i sense that it is such a building season for the children of god there are things that god is asking of us to align to realign there are things that he is teaching us it, for some of us we are becoming students once again actually in a lot of ways we are becoming students because the lord is calling us into different territories and so as you are getting into these spaces as a student don't look down upon yourself don't look down upon yourself and say ah surely speaking how am i here right now but instead just begin to say lord i partner with you i don't understand maybe what you are doing right now but i pray and ask for the spirit of revelation that i may be able to walk with you knowing that lord you have a good plan for me knowing that even in these small steps that you're asking me to take that it is not in vain in the name of jesus christ it is not in vain child of god it is not it is not in vain and if there be anything that is maybe stunting your growth anything that the enemy is throwing your way we come against it in the name of jesus christ because sometimes maybe the lord is taking us through a process and then the enemy now tries to bring some funny things uh -uh. we refuse that in the name of jesus christ but we allow ourselves to go through the process of small beginnings the process of building putting brick and brick together and we also come against the spirit of discouragement because just as i was saying the children of israel must have felt so discouraged like why is it taking so long like god really one you've removed us yes thank you you've gotten us out of uh, babylon but okay now where do we begin and maybe that is how you're feeling in life right now okay lord where do i begin yes you've called me out yes i've walked in obedience yes maybe even for some of us you 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 didn't even walk in obedience the obedience found you because god now had to pull you out and push you into a space where he needs you to grow and you're like god okay now what now what and the lord is speaking to you and telling you this morning that i am with you it gives me joy to build with you ah let me tell you what a joy to even hear the lord say that to us this morning that it it gives him joy to build with us it gives him joy as we are walking in obedience with him as we are putting things together it gives him joy to partner with us or rather for us to partner with him as we are walking um you know along this path and asking him okay lord what is the strategy of this space what do i need to get what is the blueprint of this sanctuary and it gives him joy it gives him joy to build with you child of god you are not alone in that space you are never going to be alone so even as you are finding yourself in a new territory ah the lord is saying i am right there with you and it gives me joy to grow this way with you because there's something that he has for you in this there is something that god has for you as you are building as you are growing huh because it is through you child of god that your father is going to shine the light so bright on this earth it is through you so as you're building with him imagine how much your father is just enjoying giving you the strategies just saying yeah take this put this one there take this one as well and put it over there mm. and as he sees you grow as he sees you you know just getting into this new territory ready to take over in these spaces he's like yes that is my child that is my child and so as we're getting into this new month whatever it is that the lord has asked for you to build with him build together with him just walk in obedience that is all you need to do as we're told to plant we are, we just plant our seeds 
if you are a farmer you know you just put your seeds in the ground and then you allow it to grow you allow it to grow and let me tell you it is not for us to go and speak to that plant and tell it you will grow right now in this season at this moment you it is now that you're going to sprout it is not us but it is god who causes things to grow up ah, it is god who causes things to grow and manifest and come to their fullness and so for us it is just to put that seed in the earth it is it is just for us to put it in the ground and pray and just say yes lord i have obeyed i am doing that which you're calling me to do and the rest leave it to god leave it to god because if you begin to give a timeline on some of the things that god is just you know he's he's putting them together bit by bit then we are going to get so frustrated and i believe this is how the israelites felt like okay god can we just get to it can we have this city just thrive right now we are from bondage we are from a place where it's not been easy then now again we are here trying to rebuild but leave it to the lord leave it to the lord but yes of course i keep saying we need to also stand our ground and take care till our land look um after the the seed the spaces where we've planted because also we know the enemy we have a very real enemy but on top of that we need to put, actually above it all we need to put our hope in god we need to look to him and ask him to be the one to to guide us to show us how to be in this season sometimes this can feel like a season of waiting but it's not really waiting because you are building you're putting things together it, it's a very interesting season and i really sense a lot of us are finding ourselves in this place where it's just okay we are putting things together but are they really coming together you know and the lord is still encouraging us to keep on keep on don't get tired don't get tired as we're getting into this new month don't lose hope don't lose hope and when you need to get a boost of hope look to your father just tell him daddy here i am i believe for this thing i believe for it honestly i do but right now i am so discouraged right now i feel like it's so heavy on me right now i feel like it's just taking a lot of resources right now i feel like it's not making sense and let me tell you your father will give you the strength that you need he is our strength he is your strength child of god he is the one who is going to help you to continue so that we can finish strong so right now let's just open up our mouths and let's just speak to our father i don't know where you're finding yourself i don't know which part of this story you're in maybe you are in the beginning point of the small putting the small things together and as we've said some of these things that we think are small they're not really small they're not they're not maybe just in our eyes but would we ask the lord also to help us see as he sees and so maybe you're finding yourself at the beginning point maybe you're finding yourself at the point where you are so tired you've been in this space for quite a bit and you're wondering lord okay until when until when and so in this moment just speak to your father and just tell him daddy here i am lord here we are this morning here i am here i am and as you've encouraged me this morning not to despise the days of small beginnings help me lord help me forgive me for the times we have considered the things that we are doing together as so mundane and so small and wondering lord when will you give me the bigger things to do when will i have the bigger ministry when will i have you know the bigger uh, position that you forgive me for those moments forgive me lord come on just speak to your father just tell him to forgive you for those moments you have despised small beginnings where you've despised that which you are building together with him because it's giving him joy to build with you it's giving him great joy to grow with you in this and so the times where we have you know just just um grieved the spirit of god by looking at it and saying ah now what is this that i'm even doing what is this lord really forgive us lord 
and we pray that even as we are in this season of building putting things together putting brick and mortar together lord we pray that would you help us to see as you see would we be able to have the understanding that god what we are doing together is all to give you glory it is going to give you glory at the end of it and that god you're going to radiate yourself through us the people will look at us and say hey truly there is a god in heaven would we have the understanding that it is all about you and it is all for you lord help us help Help us to understand. Help us to see. Help us, Lord. Because in our own humanness, it is difficult to have that understanding. It is difficult to see that which you are doing. Because, Lord, it looks as though you're asking us to just take a rock from the streams. Yet we don't know that you are going to use this same rock to bring down giants in our lives. But, Lord, this morning we ask, help us to to see. See as you see. Help us, Lord. We come against the spirit of discouragement, the spirit of frustration that the enemy is trying to inject around us. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We refuse frustrations. We refuse, you know, um, anything that the enemy would try to do to deter us from your path, to deter us from the timings of that which you have for us. Lord, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We speak that, Lord, we are going to see as you see. We are going to see as you see. Daddy, help us. Help us to see as you see. Help us to walk as you walk. Help us not to look down upon ourselves. For some of us, you've looked down upon yourself because you're thinking, Lord, surely, what is this? What is this? And the Lord is telling you this morning that you are his prized possession that he looks at you and he sees this beauty and so don't look down upon yourself as well that is another strategy of the enemy also to bring discouragement now you begin to look at yourself as i surely lord i am so dusty and that's the thing about building it's not beautiful at times it's not pretty but the Lord still sees the beauty in us, even as we are in, filled with that dust. And you know, we just look like people who are building. That's the thing about building. But you know, a lot of times we'd go to the mirror, figuratively speaking, and you look at yourself and you're thinking, look at all this dust. Look at all this. I just look like someone who has come from a posho meal. You know, you look so, so dusty. And you folded up your sleeves and you're looking like, you know, there's just a lot that is going on in your building season. But the Lord is looking at you in that and saying, wow, look at my daughter. Look at my son. Look how well they're carrying this. Look how well they're building for me. Look how well, look how well they're carrying this. The Lord is proud of you, child of God. He is proud of you and he's saying, yes, that is my son, that is my daughter. So don't look down upon yourself and don't allow anybody to look down upon you. You are in a different season and nobody should deter you and pull you to another season. Yet you are in one of building, one of, you know, putting things together. And let me tell you, actually you can belong to or you can be in two seasons at once, simultaneously. You can be harvesting in one place, but building in another. And you need to have an understanding that in this building space, I need to build. In this place of harvest, you harvest. But you can exist in the same space at once. So don't say, okay, then I am just building. So even this one for the harvest, I am just going to keep mm -mm, these you need to just walk with the Lord and ask him, okay, in this space, I am seeing fruitfulness. I am seeing things already coming out. I can see fruit coming out. So how do I harvest at the same time still build? God is going to give you the strategies. And let me tell you, all these strategies are also found in the word of God. 
everything is found in the word of God. And so as you are finding yourself maybe in these two places, I speak the grace of God over you that you may be able to have that understanding and the wisdom to know how to build at the same time, know how to harvest. And maybe even I can use an example of, of Joseph. At the time where Egypt was going to get into a famine and, and God had already warned Pharaoh and had warned Joseph and uh, had given Joseph the understanding of that dream. It got to a point where they were harvesting, but they were also kind of planting and building for the next season. In this sense, they needed to store food for the next seven years. So they had seven years to, uh, to, to gather and harvest and they had another seven years now to enjoy the fruit of that and so maybe you're finding yourself in these two spaces and and god is pushing you and telling you, you know what you need to build you need to build for that season you need to uh, you know put something aside you need to construct you need to get you know your hands dirty for that season you can exist in both seasons at the same time and so as, as I was just praying, um, I just speak the grace of God over you. If you're finding yourself in this place. May the Lord help you to walk this journey well. May the Lord guide you and show you the path that you should take. And may the enemy not come to frustrate you, to discourage you, to make you wonder, okay, what am I doing? Where should I be? May you have clarity that comes from heaven. In fact, I pray this over all of us, that may the Lord give us clarity, such a clarity that we know what we are doing. That if we don't feel like we are just by shying here, we are trying this and that, but that we have laser focus on that which He's given us to build in this season. So, child of God, as we're getting into this month, get into it with your sleeves folded, ready to build with the Lord, ready to finish this year strong in the Lord, because it gives Him great joy to see us putting brick and mortar together slowly by slowly, bit by bit bit by bit so don't be discouraged don't be discouraged don't look down upon yourself i really just feel the lord saying i am proud of you my children keep building keep going i am with you you are not in this alone that push that you keep feeling in your spirit man it is the lord just leading you it is his holy spirit just leading you to obey and walk with him